friends, I want to welcome you to this week's video, Hiking Up Mount Tam in Search of Landscape Photography Above the Fog. I really hope you enjoy the video. Fog is looking pretty good out there. You can see a nice bank of fog in the distance, and I think with a telephoto lens, once we get up to the top, it should be good. So for the most part, I think we're out of the woods. Um, and look, you can see the top right there. Not too much further, probably another three or 400 feet. We should be good. I'm curious to see what it looks like from the top. Seriously, so spectacular up here. Never gets old. Admittedly, I underestimated just how uh, uphill that hike was gonna be. <laughs> Amazing. I don't really like to show up somewhere and just start taking pictures. I just like to hang out for a while, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna probably just sort of grab some water, have a little snack, sit down, enjoy the view. I'll kind of look around and see if there's any compositions that, uh, that I think might be interesting for some photography and for some time lapses. So I uh, rehydrated, hung out for a little while, and decided I think I'm going to try some telephoto compositions with the Nikon D850 and the Sigma 100 to 400 lens. So I have a polarizer on here, and then I think I'm going to try a long exposure. So I'm just going to grab a 10 stop and D. There are so many bugs. I have given many meals to many mosquitoes on this hill. F6.3, ISO 100. I think I wanna try a 30 second exposure. You can see a Citro Tower hanging out right above the fog. It's actually the only building you can see above the fog in San Francisco, so 
Should be a fun composition to try. It's been so long since I've used a camera. <laughs> I'm like playing with the buttons and I'm like, ah, what does this do again? All right, I think that's good. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. Uh, we got 30 seconds. F11, ISO 100 at 400 millimeters. It's gonna be awesome, I think. Or not, it'll be a photo though. Something I haven't done in a while. So my test shot at 400 millimeters didn't really work, so I ended up switching to 100 millimeters, and then I shot this image. I just loved that cloud that was moving over top Citro Tower, and the simplicity, all the horizontal lines. I just loved how clean and simple the shot ended up being. I think it's time to uh, break some of this gear down and uh, maybe go for a little walk, see if we can find anything else. After scouting around for a little while, I decided to take a few more images with my telephoto lens, and here is my favorite of the day. I found this nice grouping of trees on the ridge closest to me. I was getting this really beautiful golden warm light, and I love how that's matched by the cooler tones in the fog and the cooler tones on the other side of the ridge. It was a perfect balance of these curvy lines of the fog, the tree line, and the ridge line in the foreground. So here's another shot that I thought was pretty fun. I actually popped right in front of a bush to give this bouquet to the foreground. And I thought it was nice, added another layer to the photograph. Kind of experimental, but I was just playing around and trying to be creative. So I started to make my descent down the mountain. Little did I know I would stumble upon one of my favorite scenes of the day. So I'm about uh, three-fourths of the way down the mountain and I got treated with a pretty cool surprise. I started peeking around that corner over there and I saw this. Check that out. Just a gorgeous scene of fog. I love all the different layers. We're a little bit lower, so we really get to see those layers, the different ridge lines at the different elevation. And we see the fog pouring over the mountain in the distance, but then it's just kind of hovering right in the foreground here. Even right down below this tree line, we can see a little bit of that fog. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I'm definitely gonna shoot a time-lapse of this before I head back down. So I got the camera clicking, time-lapse is rolling. Perfect timing because I think the fog is gonna start rolling up here. Um, as I've been standing here setting up the shot, the fog has gotten a lot further up this hillside. You can actually see it down there rising a little bit. Um, I'm hoping I can get at least three or four minutes before the fog actually engulfs the trail, but uh, we'll see. <laughs>
I really wanted some images to accompany those time lapses. And this is the first one that I took. I wanted to zoom in, focus on the hill in the background where all the fog was rushing over and create this nice simple frame at twilight. This is a shot at 400 millimeters and uh, I'm really happy with the way this one came out. But I think the next image ended up being my favorite from the scene. So I ended up switching to 100 millimeters for this frame, and I just love the way the fog looks in this scene. I tried a few long exposures, but to be honest, the texture in the fog was actually a nice addition here, so I went with this shorter exposure instead. I love the layers with those different ridges, and of course that lone tree sitting on the ridge just really does it for me, and there was a perfect amount of fog right below the ridge line to help frame the image. So it's funny, this was just one of those spontaneous scenes I had no intention of shooting after I started hiking down the mountain. I knew that I would find some interesting stuff on the top of the mountain, but I had my gear packed up, I had the mic packed up, and I found this more and more with the more I hike. Driving around and going to some viewpoints is fun, but being out there, going for a nice walk, you do end up seeing more and you do end up stumbling upon some really unique stuff. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching. Please give it a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more because I'll be releasing a bunch of new videos like this one in the future. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. I almost forgot, forgot my camera. Oh. This whole walking back to the camera, back and forth, to try and get the, uh, the hiking b-roll, overrated.